You know, it's uh, strawberry season, and that mm. means some sweet, healthy treats are ready for eating. But sometimes it can be a little difficult to keep those berries fresh before you actually pick them. Don't worry, though. Nick Federoff and KKL9 Sandra Mitchell are in the garden with some tips on how to keep those strawberries looking good until picking time. Hey, everybody, it is strawberry season. It certainly Nick. is. I mean, look at these beautiful strawberries. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, look at the oh, berries. Yeah, look at the berries. Okay, now, we have some problems with these berries, and uh -oh. that's why we're here today. Mm -hmm. Can you see how this side over here is kind of rotted out? Mm -hmm. And it gets, well, actually, it's all kind of starting to rot out a little bit. And there's reasons for that. And we are going to discuss how to try to eliminate that particular problem. Okay. You see, on a commercial level, I don't know if you've never noticed or not, but they actually grow the strawberries and there's plastic covering oh, yeah. them. Over the and, soil. Yeah, and yeah. the reason why there's plastic is because it helps with the weed control and it also helps from the insects getting in mm -hmm. and coming up. So while we were actually creating this display, this was actually, this these came out of a different garden that we have, or actually at my office. Mm -hmm. And and uh, it's a raised counter bed. There's no other garden anywhere and we had little tiny grubs in there. Oh, I'm seeing something right yeah, there. Yeah. Snail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at the snail activity. Yeah. So can you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got some snail activity. So while we're there, let's do this. This right here is sharp sand. So take your sand, take a pinch of it, and sprinkle it around it. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm glad that you, yeah. Now, what that's going to do is that it'll stop it in its tracks. Uh, 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 it, it'll actually cut it up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, stop. Uh, <laughs> so, right, no more birds, details. All right, birds were going to come and they're going to eat it. Okay. That's what will end up happening. So that's one of the reasons why we have some of this activity going on over here. And But we want uh, we don't want the grubs and the slugs and anything else to be yeah. coming on it. So let's take a look at what we can do to kind of help rectify that. Okay. And what we would end up doing is we want to put something out. Now, we don't want to put plastic like you do on a commercial level. We'll probably end up frying the plants. Oh. So what we do is we have all kinds of different types of weed fabric mm -hmm. that is to our, our that is available to us. And some of it is, is actually fabric-like. I mean, you can oh, feel yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that's almost like felt. It's almost like felt. Now, look at this one, totally different. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and feel that one, that's like plastic. Oh, you yeah. see that? And you can you can mm -hmm. kind of kind of actually see through that. So this way the water could come through, mm -hmm. but it's much more difficult to the weeds to pop up. Right. It's but... harder for the insects to get through mm -hmm. and vice versa. So we have different look at this is another kind of a, a fabric and the fabric itself is uh, has little tiny very very, very tiny holes. Mm -hmm. This one right here is a fiberglass. Oh. Yeah. So anything that we use is going to be really important. So on that view right there, what we're going to do is that we're going to want to cut out a square. Okay. So, and it doesn't have to be exact. So if we can cut out a square, oh, well, maybe about this big by this big. And uh, there we go. Like that? Yeah. Be fine. All right. Let me just cut it up there. Okay. And this stuff is very forgiving. Oh, easy to cut. Okay. <laughs> so while you're doing that, I'm going to do something much different. I'm going to use a paper plate mm -hmm. because maybe not everybody has this kind of fabric to be had. And now what we want to do is we want to make a hole in the center. And the way okay. we make a hole in the center is this. You want to fold your material in quarters, just quarter it out, and then you're going to take and cut the, the tip corner. off. Mm -hmm. cut, the, cut the corner off. And then when you have it like this, it's like, it's like magic. It's <laughs> beautiful. Now what we want to do is we want to cut right through like this. Okay. And then we're going to get head over to our plant again. So let's come over and head over to the plant. And and uh, so what we want to do is take it and pick up your plant like this and your strawberries, if there's any baby strawberries. Now we're actually going to get rid of these because they're all chewed up. Take that right there and put it around the plant. That's it. Oh, beautiful. Just put it straight on the ground. Okay. Now what's going to happen is you see how this is going to be protected? Oh, yeah. As it's so so you're going to have less, ten, you have less ten tendency to, uh, for it to, to uh, mess up on you. Now, you had an eagle eye there, and I'm really appreciative of you having an eagle eye uh, because this right here is, mm -hmm. is an organic material. Strawberries are the number one agricultural product that has the most pesticides in them. Mm. So when you're growing them, you have to be organic. Right. You have to be. This right here is Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew, and mm. it is a spinosad, which is 100% organic. Mm. So when you see insect activity like that, 
spray it and you know that when you end up eating the fruit, you're not gonna have a body part fall off, you know, like an <laughs> ear or a nose or an eye or anything like that. Fertilize it organically. We have ourselves some uh, uh, fish hydrolysate to do something like that. And then be careful of, of the kind of products that you do put out because this right here is, act, is uh, and I take that back, this right here is for like rabbits. Oh. In rabbits, this is, there's actually blood in here. Oh. And the blood, but you, you spray it out like this and the insects, not the insects, but the, uh, uh, they come up to it and they go, oh, wait a minute, something's been killed here before. Oh. Yeah. So that's basically how we do it. So if anybody wants any information, feel free to uh, find it with uh, find it with me on uh, or find me, I should say, on <laughs> thingsgreen.com and at facebook.com, uh, Facebook and as well as uh, uh, as Twitter as well. So there you have it.